Good morning. Do you ever get uh, cold calls? We get stacks of them. Now I know that there's a way that you can contact BT or, or other providers and put a block on these, but we haven't done that so far. And you get these cold calls and they're getting um, more sophisticated. But the kind of cold calls I'm talking about are uh, we're ringing you <laughs> about your computer problem. And of course, you don't have a computer problem. So they're phishing. Or we're ringing you about your recent accident. And you haven't had a recent accident. Um, or you get them, um, we, get, we get these ones quite regularly, uh, coming along on your uh, computer or Kindle or laptop and you get, um, uh, uh, here is your, uh, your, about your quote request uh, for, for uh, life insurance and you, you never made a request. So, those those kinds of emails and cold calls, uh, etc., are bad enough. But there's another uh, scam on top of this, and I'm just uh, doing this wee video to make you aware. And you've probably uh, come across this before. You really need to be aware and on the ball. Um, to be aware of that, that there's a lots of uh, people out to take your money by whatever means they can do so and they're up to all sorts of tricks to do it and um, here's here's a an email I got the other day now you'll notice that there was there's no there's no uh, name or telephone number or anything up at the top there's you know my name's not quoted, the phone number's not quoted, nothing. It's, um, and it's, it starts off, it's uh, purporting to come from HMRC tax refund. So you're seeing this at, you're just out of your bed, you're bleary eyed, and you get this email coming through. Tax refund, oh goody, Government UK. Thanks for taking the time to contact HMRC, of course you didn't contact them, or you think you didn't, you can't remember, or whatever, if you're an elderly person who's a wee bit dotty. Now, a lot of elderly people, don't get me wrong, are quite sharp. Your request, and it gives you this HMRC 100 slash a two two very official, very authentic looking, has been reviewed by our user support team. We have been informed after a recalculation that we have to repay you an amount of GBP four two five fifty eight. So you think that you're going to get four hundred quid back from? The tax people, please complete the money claim form. Complete carefully and ensure that everything is correct so that we can refund you the amount in four to five working days. Thank you for your time. Regards, Sakala Danielle with a small d. Oh, N Dare with a small d. Bit of a giveaway. And if you're not on the ball, you might be taken in by something like this. And it is amazing the number of people in Northern Ireland who are being taken in by these sorts of scams. And there, there's many different types of scams like this. And uh, you, you, of course, will send in uh, the, you know, if you click on this, please complete the money claim form. Let's have a look. Start now. 
and it looks pretty good. Very official. Date, month, enter your details, blah, 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 blah. Continue. What do I say? But you haven't filled in any anything there. Uh, I bet you it goes on and it says, you know, give your bank details. So what I'm saying is be very, very careful who you give your bank details to. It could be a, sca a scam. If you're unsure, don't give them out. No bank or no nobody will ring you and ask you to confirm your bank details. So there you go folks and you know don't fill in a form like this. I went on into this form and it, it looks authentic but it's not. It's gonna, they're gonna, if you enter your bank details online to the wrong people they will clean you out and you could lose a heck of a load of money.